is that my mum used to do this at Christmas, which is a bit surreal when it's 20 odd degrees outside. But I want to show you this because I love this. Um, it's like a really simple little smoked salmon mousse. Um, but you use this amazing smoked salmon. And these are one of the many things I'm going to talk to you about uh, when I wander around as well. Uh, because when I first of all um, started working with Asta, um, this wasn't a, 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 a chat that we had. Uh, it was quite an unusual sort of chat. It was basically the, uh, the, uh, a guy called Andy Clark, who was the CEO, uh, phoned me up at about 11 o'clock at night and said, we want to work together. And that's how it initially came. Didn't through from any agents with bits and pieces. And I said, one thing that you need to talk about is the amazing quality food that you have. Because nobody, nobody understands how good the food that you've got is. One of the suppliers that supplies, has to supplies my restaurant. That's how good it is. Um, in terms of the beef, in terms of the smoked salmon. So I am basically here to talk about how amazing the stuff is and what we've developed on later on for Christmas as well. One in particular is this stuff. It's the smoked salmon. Um, 15 hour. Uh, smoked. The whole idea of smoked salmon is that it's long, slow smoking. That's where you get the intensity of the flavour from as well. Um, and you get that, it's quite simply, by the long and slow process of cold smoking. Um, and I'm going to use three of these to make this amazing mousse. This is my Debbie McGee, Chris, um, who always smiles. Um, we're going to do this amazing sort of um, thing that you can do for Christmas. All right? And like I said, my mum used to do this when we, when we were young kids. Um, but she would always slice the... the um, the, the cucumber by hand. Nowadays we've got these fancy little mandolins and also nowadays I've got Chris so I'm going to pass this bit over to Chris and he's going to slice it nice and thin because I want to keep my fingers. Meanwhile we're going to prep the mould. Now we're going to use one of these little sort of saffron little moulds. We can use, do this in a bowl but it's so simple. But the key to this is this bit. All right? You oil the mould first. All right? The corner step that people are trying to make anything like summer puddings or anything like that. So simple. Just oil and oil, take some cling film, and what the oil does is stick the cling film to the bottom of the mold, and then it doesn't come out. It makes it much easier to take out afterwards. So then what we do with our cucumber, when we get it nice and thin, thin, and then we slice that and place it all the way around the edge of the mold, nice and thin, all the way around. And I'm going to pass that over to Chris, meanwhile I'm going to make our filling. All right, so that bit's for it. Next, our filling. You use this amazing smoked salmon. And if you haven't tasted this, you should do it, because this is delicious. And also one thing that we do, we do another one that's uh, flavoured with gin. But this is smoked over oak and applewood chips. Uh, but the process of making the smoked salmon not a lot of people know, but it's basically salt and sugar. And you mix salt and sugar roughly in equal quantities. And you put it over some uh, fillets of salmon, leave it generally for 24 hours. It can be a little bit less, but it's, it's, that's the intensity of the cure. And then you wash that off, and then basically, you basically put it into a cold smoke. And the cold smoke in it turns it into smoked salmon. Uh, but we're going to make this move really, really simple. So you just basically just blitz. Salmon. Not too much, because we don't want to blitz it so it heats up the mixture, otherwise it's going to cook the fish. Then we take some full fat cream cheese. Don't go over and change this and put yak on it and stuff like that. Just do it properly. Full fat cream cheese. Then we take a little bit of double cream. I just away from all you watching. Just a little bit. Put some lemon. All right. A nice squeeze of lemon. Bit of that. Black pepper, no need to add salt to this because you've got enough with the cure. And then all we do is we blitz this. And this turns it into a mousse. Gradually we can add a little bit more cream. And as it's blitzing, it will thicken up. And that is your smoked salad mousse. Sit that in a jar, we're obviously in London, put it in a fancy jar, 20 quid outside in the restaurant back. But it's so simple. Grab yourself a piping bag. Like that. And I'm basically gonna fill this, fill this up. Nice and simple. Alright? So all you've got in here is lemon, 
cream cheese what you need to stabilize it. The double cream and a smoked sandwich. That's it. Nothing else. It's good quality ingredients. It's simply put together. And one thing that's great about this, particularly at Christmas, what my mum used to do, is she used to serve this, or rather make this, three to four days beforehand. And that's really the key, I think, with anything, is preparation in advance. And nowadays, my mum's learned how to put veg properly at Christmas, and not have seven different pans of oil in the way of once. All the veg is cooked the day before. All of them. In a restaurant, you think we've got veg cooking all over the place and pans boiling all over the Christmas day. All of it is cooked the night before. And then all you do is reheat it. Right? So you just take your nice little bit of summer moves like this. You've got your nice little mould. And you can pipe this in. You just pop salmon moves all the way in. Take more. Squeeze it in again. That. A bit more. And then what Chris is going to do is finish this. We're going to take a few of these lovely little prawns. Just some frozen prawns. I love these. And we just put a few of these over the top. But this is just a little bit of luxury. A few of these frozen prawns over the top. Press it down. Nice and flat. Yeah. And then what we do is you take a little mold. So normally this would go in the fridge for a couple of days. Take that. Because you've got light in the clip though, it lifts off the mold and you clean them. Smoke some of our moves in about five minutes. 